Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we are, of course, getting today, Wednesday, uh, September 14th, a new build for the Dev Channel, and that's build 25201. And, of course, I've uh, downloaded and installed it on my Insider machine, as I usually do. What's new? Uh, first of all, the install went well. It was the standard install that always takes from download to install to restart to finish about an hour on this machine. And it uh, went well. It seems to work well for now. No particular glitches that I could find. Of course, I'm just using it you know, for the last hour or, or so. Uh, really, so um, of course, you know, glitches come a little later and sometimes happen when you do certain things. So we'll see what happens there. What's uh, new in here? Uh, the first thing that is new is the uh, widgets. For some of you, the widgets can now be expanded. So when you go to the widgets, on the upper right, I have just a plus in my avatar. That is a standard one. But if you can expand it, you will see two arrows that show that that is an icon for expansion, and it's going to be here. So I don't have it yet. They say they are rolling it out, so it will appear eventually. So when you see that, it expands the widgets panel full screen, and it remembers what uh, you did. So that means that when you actually put it full screen, every time you want it, it will be full screen. Now, they're not addressing what we actually want. Some of us just don't want the um, automatic, you know, uh, widgets to appear when you put the mouse pointer there. It'd be fun to have a little slider that says, hey, only when you click on it, not when you just put your mouse or hover over the, uh, the weather. Uh, it'd be nice. I hope they do that at some point. Also, um, there's an improvement in the way that uh, in the ability to sign into your Xbox profile and the Xbox app in the uh, Game Pass widget. So if you are, like me, a Game Pass user, you have the uh, Game Pass widget that, uh, of course, can bring you to your Xbox app. And uh, it tells you all sorts of things, including the status of your, uh, of your own um, um, you know, apps and games that you have and so on. So uh, the widgets will show the most recent set of PC game titles that uh, you played. And also will actually give you a hints of things that are to come uh, that you can pre-install to actually play eventually. Once again, this is rolling out. Not everybody is having it at the same time, uh, which is a boring way of doing it. But anyways, they're doing it like that. Um, there's a little bit of changes and improvements. Um, they will actually have, they've explored different visual treatments for the uh, taskbar, and uh, they're ending that experiment. So when you restart today, if you had one of those changes, it'll revert back to what it was before. File Explorer, search results page will uh, update live without needing to press enter and you will uh, have the full search results as you type. So that means you don't have to type the full name, and it should actually act actualize uh, and refresh automatically when you search for something in the File Explorer app. So that's another thing that is happening here. Um, as for the rest, um, it's mostly fixes. So of course, tons and tons of fixes if you had issues. And talking about issues, if you have issues, you can download this build in a, a ISO. The uh, Windows Insider page for the download now goes with the new build. So if you have a problem, if you need to reinstall the Insider build because you have problems, you simply go to this page. I'll post the link in the description below. Click Select Edition, and you have Dev Channel Build 25201 that you can actually download. And um, you could put it on a, uh, um, a USB thumb drive to uh, boot up and, re and clean install your Insider build if needed, if you have problems. So this will be in the description below. You just have to click the, um, just have to click the link that I will be sharing there. 
So another build, not a lot to watch, not a lot to do, and actually nothing for me because all of the new features are not even rolled out yet to this build. But you might have more chances than me. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.